All right. Oh, man, I really kind of want to just not do any work today, but I got to work today, I got to work tomorrow, I got to call a family member after I'm done with this video. Hey, and I still have to exercise. I, I actually took a physical day off yesterday, too, so I didn't do any push-ups or, you know, my, uh, what do you call those things again? These things. Uh, let me get it to you. Uh, I used to know what these were called. Now, now I'm drawing a blank. Can you see this? Yeah, it's it, it's these uh, string things. It's like tension ropes or something. It, I think it's called a tension. I don't even remember, man. I'm already like spacing out because I'm so distracted. Also, I'm actually uh, getting used to the monetization system for YouTube. It's honestly undergone quite a lot of changes and evolutions, obviously, or reiterations is te is the technical term for in computer programming. Uh, it's actually a lot more impressive and simplified, so, I, I don't know, I'm going to spend all day today just going through their stuff in detail, because, uh, because now I actually have to do things a little bit differently, right? Because it, because before I would just publish a video, upload it, and just send it to public, and then, yeah, whatever. But it actually turns out that, by default, it's unlisted or private, and I was like, why would you want to do that? And then I, and then it actually says, oh, we need to, we have a add suitability check. You might want to set to private and then come back later and then wait and then, you know, whatever. Because it says it does not run ads until the ad checker is done. And it usually takes 20 minutes or less. So I'm like, wait a minute. If it's not running ads and I publish it public anyway, I lose all that income. It's like I have to set it to private. Because if I said the unlisted, people can still actually find it somehow. I know there's a way around it, but I forgot. I'll have to Google that again. But I'm like, no way, you know, I, I need I need my pennies, okay? I need my whatevers. Maybe I'll even, actually, I'm kind of curious because if you did advertise on my chat, it would actually be pretty expensive, right? Um, I don't know, Google, actually, I'll, I'll play it safe, but Google is actually very generous. They give me a, quite a bit of ad revenue, too. I'm like, I'm actually kind of, first of all, I'm kind of surprised they even, t I mean, AdSense has actually always been pretty cool about it. They always tell you up front what it is. So, yeah, but anyway... Yeah, I'm actually liking this. God is obviously guiding us, guiding me, and hey, you know what? I'm I'm not complaining, man. I'm not complaining. So yeah, we're de this channel is definitely here to stay. We're definitely gonna do a lot more of these. We're gonna get so rich together, hopefully, and then you know we'll see uh, we'll see what happens with the uh, normie interest for Bitcoin, right? Because you know this is something now I have. We're gonna be definitely be actively more uh, watching now. So, because remember, cryptocurrencies are going much, much higher. Oh, maybe I should convert my phantom into uh, stable coins. Oh, I'll worry about it later. There's just too much going on right now, so let's do one thing at a time. All right, so Octro Finance is basically like a, you know, another Seifu type of fork type of deal, right? Very high APR, I assume, 15-minute uh, rebases, and of course, it's going to probably, the APY will drop after one year. So this was mentioned to me in the Elite Discord. They launched yesterday. I bought, I bought an okay bag of this. I don't remember how much I put into this, but you know, I, 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 I don't even remember where I pulled money from. I might have sold a little bit of Sphere, which I really don't, because I've been raiding my Sphere finance to fund projects. And in two days or so, I need to pull out like a couple of grand from it too for rent. But the good news is Sphere will have an entire month instead of two weeks this time to really grow. And that's why I'm going to really see the income from uh, from Sphere. I almost kept calling it Spear, right? Because my family member refers to it as Spear, like, constantly. And it's like, now I wind up doing that, too. And now that I told you, you'll probably do the same, same thing, too. So, uh, all right. So, normally I would kind of be like, eh, whatever. But they actually are KYC'd specifically by Jesse Eccles' uh, Obsidian Council. So there I have a search audit working. There I have marketing on Market Watch, Digital Journal, Interfi Network, which is pointing to GitHub for some reason. Oh, so that's probably their source code or whatever. And of course, Benzinga. Okay, so the only reason why I'm even putting because I didn't do any research at all at all, and I really don't care to. But just Yekel and the Obsidian Council, that's their job. So if they're going to put their stamp of approval on this, they get my stamp of approval automatically. So it's kind of like Google's algorithm. 
oh hey it's a legit site and it's being linked to and from from another legit site yeah we could try we could trust them all right fast track them so that's what they're so that's what this is but of course as i always say treat everything as a rug pull scam don't ape in all your bags in one basket but if it looks really good like to me in this case you can overweight a little bit more money right but never put all your money in it don't do the stupid i will always drill this in your head because i'm going to drill this into my own head all right I should be a multimillionaire right now. At the very least, I should have five to two, five hundred thousand, two million dollars right now. But because of a couple of mistakes, one I didn't really know because you know who would have known that Litecoin would just be a shit coin, right? At, at this point in time, I thought it was going to go up like everything else, it, which it did technically, but it did it so slow and lackadaisically that it's like I'm not holding this crap coin no more, right? So, I mean, in fact, it still hasn't reached its all-time high after all this time. And Bitcoin is already in Ethereum. It has already done that on a bunch of other coins, too. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, you're, it's like this, this thing all-time high was 325 hours. And I still can't get catch a break. Like, come on, man. But, you know, obviously I dumped my Litecoin long ago. So, I wish I got, I wish I put it in a dog coin, right? When it was like fractions of a penny and I would... There'll always be new opportunities, all right? And why do you think I actually work pretty hard finding these products for all of you, right? Because it's really for me, too. So we get rich, hopefully, together. So, you know, and that's just, and that's just the lesson. You just got to learn the lesson, see the mistakes, and then just try to do better. That's all you can do, right? You know, it's like, you know, that's why you have something called reiteration, self-improvement, constantly innovate and innovate and improve, right? That's why Google's on top of their game. I'm not sure. I guess Facebook kind of trying to do the same thing, but I don't know. I think Mark Baderberg is like, I don't know. There's something off. Obviously, there's something off, uh, off with that guy, but I don't know. I don't know. People are poo-pooing on Facebook, too, saying it's dying. It's not dying. They're, they're just a really big behemoth, right? So, I don't know. I guess Facebook, I mean, Facebook, like any other tech company, has creativity, but I, it's pretty obvious that they're not as creative as, like, Amazon and Google and really a lot of other Silicon Tech Valley companies. But with that being said, he's still moving into, like, the metaverse and stuff, too, so maybe he's just occupied with that. Uh, anyway, I kind of forgot why I went into this ramble, but uh, anyway, basically, oh boy, this will be fun. Uh, to write this uh, APY out, but basically 400,000 APY. You can check out the audit, all right, which links it. Okay, why is it linking to a GitHub for an audit? Uh, I don't know. You can, you, you can read all this. Well, okay, maybe we should read this real quick. Um, okay. All right, so it's your standard whatever. Okay, let's just see if they made a simple version of this for us uh, lazy people. Okay, Eric Kelly in a scenario with the OAP to save the rebase interest for 365 days. I have the uh, DAP open. We'll take a look real quick. I also have to turn off the camera too because I'm covering some stuff. My stupid camera. Uh, okay, so this is their treasury auto compounding. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I was looking for the burn function. So they uh, three percent of all octro traded are burnt in the finance. The more that's traded, the more that will get burned. Okay, reducing circulating supply. Okay, so they do 3% auto burning. All right, so that's pretty good, right? Because usually Seifu folks do 2.5%. Okay, join our community. Uh, oh, speaking, speaking of Seifu forks, so Sim actually put out an announcement on this, I must call it Sphere, Sphere Finance Discord say we are not a Titano fork or any fork, we use our own code. So I'm kind of hoping he wasn't a little irritated when I posted my video on the general chat because I always say the words Titanu Seifu fork. So everyone's like, is this a fork of the code? Like, you know, because I do it because that's what people search for, right? Because people don't know any, Like, they don't know anything about this. They just like, I want something like Seifu. I want something like Titano. That's, that's really what they're searching for. But you can't put all that in the YouTube title, right? Unless maybe a million people actually search that term. Oh, jeez, am I really going to do this? Uh, no, you would need to log into a Google account to access AdWords. But basically, people will write that whole thing out, or more specifically, they'll just write Titano Fork, right? Because it's a lot easier to write that than Titano Alternative, because that's really what it is, a Titano Seifu Alternative. So it's really purely for SEO reasons, all right? So hopefully, hopefully, I, hopefully, I mean, Sim's a smart guy, but I don't know if he knows anything about mm -hmm. SEO, but obviously I know a lot about that. So, yeah. 
So that's why you do it, because that's what I want to rank for. Because people are, oh, hey, I like Titano. I like Libro. Let's, well, what's this Sphere Finance thing? Oh, what's this uh, Octro Finance thing, right? Oh, yeah, by the way, thank you again to all you new people coming in. Like, there's just, like, a bunch of you coming in all of a sudden, which is great. You know, we need to really grow this channel, especially now that I'm YouTube monetized. I really could use the rent money, okay, because you clowns are donating to me, I think. But that's okay. You don't have to donate. Uh, now that I do have monetization, you know, when I do rarely go live, usually around Federal Reserve interest rate decisions, uh, apparently I already have access to Super Chats or whatever. So, yeah, and you just ask me stuff right there. Uh, okay, so Octro, okay, blah, 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 so you got your insurance fund, I mean, I'm kind of just really, uh, okay, flash crash, okay, great. Actually, what does this do? It doesn't say anything, it just says uh, it's going to keep holders, okay, I uh, like more specifics, but burn tokens, see that, automatic injection of liquidity, it's hard-coded every two days. No manual override ability to pause or stop liquidity from being added. I don't know what that means. Okay. Allows for complete APY sustainability until maximum supply is reached. Okay. Hmm. Are they actually maintaining the whole APY until... Well, they have to have a white paper link somewhere. Oh, no, it's right in front. Uh, okay. Oh, you're gonna make me you're gonna make me do this, aren't you? Well, I mean this does look kinda nice and fancy though, so that is actually kinda nice. You can't do that with the standard git book or whatever it's whatever it's called. What I'm looking for is is the APY actually always gonna be like that? That's actually a big thing. So here's their max supply, their total supply, which is starting is somewhere around three hundred and thirty three. Alright, three thirty three. Buy tax 15, sell tax 17, and that's literally it. Okay, so this might actually be different because they might actually just keep this. Are they actually going to keep this? Wait, can I search? Oh, I can search this. APY. You guys can see this, right? Yeah. Okay. That's APY. I don't know. Are they actually keeping? <clears throat> Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to write this as a question mark because they're not actually saying if this thing is going to go down after one year, which is normal for Seifu forks. Oh. The sale. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Okay, so it actually says right here, it will aid, okay, we should actually read this. This actually this actually makes it different. Every 48 hours, our Octro, I might actually need to buy more Octro. Oh, man. I mean, I'm making quite a bit of money from Printer Financial on BSC, so I could actually, because I was going to redirect that towards High Point tomorrow, but I know Octro right now is under a correction, so I actually want to, I actually am going to buy more Octro. Let's see, wait. Every 40 hours, our okay sale engine will inject auto liquidity. The 50, remaining 50% of Octro on the auto LP will be used for the Octro side of liquidity, therefore giving equal 50-50. Every two days, Octro will easily sell their target at any time, a little and no markets later. It will also aid and maintain protocol stability to make sure the APY is upheld for the entire life of Crocho. All right, so <clears throat> I'm still going to write this as a question mark, but it does sound like... And someone should definitely double check my work here and maybe ask around the Discord. And then if uh, and when I see a, like a very detailed explanation of how you arrive at the answer and you check the Discord or whatever, confirm if this is actually always going to be this APY. Because like, it, it sounds like, from what little I'm seeing, that it will always be this APY until the max supply is reached. That gives this thing like a tremendous advantage. You're basically always 400,000 APY forever. So, okay, yeah. I mean, because remember, remember what I said, right? I'm just gonna, because I'm expecting a ginormous price drop on all these Seifu forks when the APY drops because there's no, because people are like, I'm not getting any more money anymore. It's like time to dump. Like, 
look, I mean, you, you all see my channel, right? Even if you're brand new, like look, look at how many like new projects pop up where you get like tons of APY. You know, do you want your $1 million or $10 million worth of Seifu or Auto or whatever, right? I don't even remember the projects I'm in now. I'm not in Seifu, but I do keep track of the price, right? Uh, right? You're going to be earning your a crappy like 0.25% a day. Well, what if you could take that same $1 or $10 million and earn like 5% a day? You're also going to dump the project and go into the higher APY. So... So this pro so Octro is actually protected from that, assuming this actually maintains this APY. Yeah, I'll put more money in this, all right? Which sucks because I'm supposed to save up for High Point tomorrow. And I bought a little bit of Libro this morning too. But yeah, tonight I'll just, yeah, I'll just buy more, um, I'll buy more Octro. What, what is the price right now anyway? Yeah, I mean, you're still very early. I bought it at, like, you know, I don't actually know when I bought it at. I know it was sometime around this green candle. So, I don't know. I might be down a little bit, but I don't really care. So, you know, it's pretty much close to what I bought it at. Yeah, so I'll probably wait this out. Okay, so this is actually interesting. And obviously, they have a pretty, they have a pretty good graphics designer. Wait, why did I go all the way back up here? Oh, yeah, because I wanted to confirm this. All right, so and they also have slightly higher taxes. All right, oh, man. Uh, okay, and that's it. All right, so Octro's APY, automatic burn, rebasing, insurance fund, all these clowns, rug proof, blah, 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 and it's liquidity locked. Uh, they also do manual token buybacks. Libero does the same thing. Mm, fixed rebase time, no manual adjusting, no minting code, blah, 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 blah. Well, I think Titano version 2 contract is almost out, if not already, so. All right, so that's that. All right, so I can see why the Obscene Council put their stamp of approval on this. Because I think on their condition to, to get your KY, maybe it's different, because I don't actually know, but. Uh, you know, Jesse Eckel and his team usually want your tokens, too as part of the uh, of the KYC. So, and I think that's totally fair because if they can't make money, then I mean, how are they supposed to sustain themselves, right? Plus they kind of want to make sure that you have a little skin in the game too. So that's why you got to give them tokens. So everybody gets richer, all right? You know, you scratch your back, I scratch mine kind of thing. All right, so I need to turn off my camera real quick. So on the upper right corner, you can see a little bit of whatever. What, oh, mouse hit my other mouse. Add token to MetaMask, buy Octra. Okay, so that's what this is. You got some social stuff here. All right, looks pretty good. All right, so we'll pop open this clown. And by the way, am I getting a message? Yeah, because, uh, I don't know, they might want to be sending me a message, but let me refresh. Okay. Uh, let me see. Did it, did it, no, they didn't say anything here. All right, works for me. Uh, why is she tagging Vital Booter in? Oh, because she just wants to, you know, some spam stuff, I guess. Well, lucky her. She gets a little bit of free marketing, I guess. All right, so total supply. Okay, so rebase, total supply, back liquidity, circulate. All right, so it looks fine. Uh, obviously, I have to refresh this page. Yeah, I have to refresh the page, but the treasury went up by five bucks. Pool value, great. Octro insurance fund. I probably, I really, I don't really care about the insurance fund because this is just, a, I, I assume it's just a different way of saying RFV and regular treasury. So whatever. I don't, I don't even know what the difference between the two still are to this day. It's like, yeah, just put all the money in the one thing. It's like, huh? <laughs> all right. Just have, oh, actually maybe it's because of the contract, right? The contract holds actual crypto and then the other one is coded to like hold stable coins or something. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's that. Value of the furnace is 2.38 million. Gray value of the furnace is this many clowns. So total supply. So the actual circulating supply of Octro is like a little under 72,000. So this is pretty, pretty nice. Well, their calculator works. The swap takes me to Bogged. Actually, I'm starting to get used to using Bogged Finance because a lot of times, like Quick Swap, especially for Sphere. 
doesn't actually work. Even when I set it to 49% slippage, it's like quick swap just doesn't work. But if I go straight to bog swap, yeah, it works perfectly. It's a, it's a you will earn money soon. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Daily ROI is 2.3%. Of course, that's before taxes. And then, of course, your standard whatever. So I assume, so they probably will have to eventually spend some money to improve the UI of this, right? I mean, it looks okay, but, you know, it's quite simplistic. But that's okay. I mean, this looks pretty solid to me. So uh, I want someone to double check this. Leave a comment in the YouTube. All right. I mean, unfortunately, I can only pin one of your comments, right? So I'll just pick whatever it looks like the best. But... I actually think this might actually always be 400%, 400,000% APY until max supply is reached, like it says. Because I didn't see any indicator that this APY goes down after 12 months, like everything else. So definitely check, uh, definitely check if that's actually the case. Because yeah, this actually makes it a very good project. I mean, it'll still tank when the overall crypto market currencies, you know, hyper pump and hyper dump, if that ever is becomes a thing again, which is why. We're going to aggressively track Google Trends now for, you know, Bitcoin or me interest again. So, you know, we'll see. You know, we'll take it one day at a time. I already know what to do, right? So I'll tell you what to do. But, you know, we got, there's just too, it's just too far in the future, right? You got to stay present with God. Stay present in the moment, right? You can't, you can't, you can't really think that I can do it, right? Think that far ahead. I do pretty well. But again, there's just too... There's just too many things that could change, right? So, no, no need to really worry about it or whatever. So anyway, when you go to buy, this takes you to Pancake Swap. We can also buy this on Bogged if you prefer. Now let's close it. So, oh, oh, that's because I hit the. Uh, that's because I refused to hit the under I understand button. Okay. All right, so I man, I can never figure out how to read this. I I'm so used to just dollars and the token. That's what I'm used to. Here I have to expend a little more brain power. Okay, so this is actually saying Binance coins getting stronger, specifically 9.46% relative to Octro, which basically means Octro is going down in value, which of course makes sense because that's what we're seeing here. But yeah, I'm going to actually increase my bag of Octro for sure. This is actually the first Seifu fork that I found. Obviously, that actually does not do the APY reduction after one year. Like, I'm like 80% sure that's what we're seeing. That's why I, I want some of you to maybe, uh, you know, take a look into it. So I'll, I'll make sure I write that in the description as well. So everyone's pretty clear. But yeah, I'm going to increase my bag in this just a little more because I, I want to make sure I buy, you know, more high point tokens. I don't have to. Right, because I bought the original whitelist, but I do want to buy more of it. I mean, Sim is helping code the contract, so I mean, the guy who made almost did it, Sphere Finance. So I mean, what more do you need to know? And also, they've already applied it. They they've already applied to be audited by Obsidian Council and Jesse Eckel too. So they should be able to get it pretty easily. All right, so check it out. Maybe if you wanted to, you can maybe wait them out a little bit, right? Octro, right? Because it is technically in a kind of, you know, uh, I guess kind of correction. But, I mean, this thing is literally like, I don't even think it's, it's barely 24 hours old, you know? Even though the pair created was like whatever this many weeks. But, you know, it, 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 ju it just basically launched. <laughs> All right, so check it out. I'm going to increase my bang on this a little more, uh, and then we'll just see how this goes. You know, I, I usually buy a little bit of this. I'm looking for the next auto protocol. I assume these guys will also invest their treasury, so we'll, we'll see what happens, All right? I know they won't, be doing, uh, they won't be doing well if I see that the price of this just keeps going down and doesn't do anything. I'll be like, okay, well, what the F, All right? All right, uh, so I'm done for the day. I will definitely likely see you tomorrow, even though I really would like to take a break. So tomorrow's high point launch, uh, F Libero, right on Phantom. That's a launch. Hmm. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, uh, Caniverse World is relaunching version two after like a million years. So we actually got three projects. It's, I know I'm gonna want to do Node projects, but Caniverse World, you know, obviously is my best performing project. Eventually R and D will surpass Canaverse World. But they both but those two projects, R and D and Canaverse World, what you know 
they used a closed circulating supply system. So in theory, in theory there's zero inflation. In fact, in practice, it's zero inflation. So those are the only type of no projects I wouldn't want to invest in. But again, in general, I don't want to do no projects anymore because Ape Universe is doing poorly. Universe itself is doing poorly, right? And I don't like the fact that Ape Universe did not take my advice at all. And not surprisingly, they're having like a million problems, right? So it's like, it's like, just listen, just effing listen to me. Listen to Johnson Chan. I know what I'm effing talking about, all right? And your project's success rate will be close to 100%. If you want to ignore me, then you're taking your chances, and then you're going to screw up the project, and then we all lose money, and then I get kind of annoyed, right? I'm sure some of you do. Well, I don't get annoyed, but, you know, I'm just more like, there's a cliff in front of you. Just don't go over, and then people are like, nah, go F yourself, and they jump off the cliff anyway. I'm like... I don't know. What, what do you do with that? What do, you, what do you do with people like that? It's like, okay, you know. Hey, I'm done for the day. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, thank you to all the new people again that are coming in. Um, yeah, things are going really, really well. They're going very well. I cannot ask really for much more except to go back in time and then undo some of the stupid financial mistakes I did. Uh, but with that being said, that's all right. You know, I'll, I'll, I always come back. My, my ex-best friend Warren used to say, yeah, you know, whenever I have, suffer a massive setback, he actually did say, yeah, don't worry about Jason. That's my nickname. I usually have everyone call me Jason. He's like, no, nah, don't worry about Jason. You always bounce back somehow. You know, you'll bounce back from this. I'm like, yeah. That's like, I mean, we're not friends anymore because of the whole Donald Trump election thing. So, you know, he, he went with the uh, far left assholes. Unfortunately, but you know, I mean, that's just how, how it goes. You know, everyone's disconnected from God, so everyone's just like angry and shit. What are you gonna do? I'll see you all tomorrow. We got three projects to cover tomorrow because I'm not gonna buy Libero on Phantom, but I'm gonna buy more High Point. I'll probably have to pull money from Sphere again. Uh, Canaverse World, I'll definitely want to... Actually, maybe I'll hold off on Canaverse World until maybe Thursday. Then I'll only do one video on Thursday. It'll lighten my workload. And... Yeah, alright, that's it. Alright, I'll see you uh, in a, uh, tomorrow. And, yeah. And again, uh, I'm going to be changing the format a little bit. It's mostly just like... Because I usually upload a video and go immediately public. Now I'm going to actually be sending it to private and then wait for the YouTube monetization checks to, you know, do their thing. So there's going to be a slight delay, usually 20 to 40 minutes. So I don't know. I'm still getting used to it, but other than that, nothing's going to change. It's just going to get hopefully better, right? So thanks. Check out Octro Finance. And um, actually in the last video, you know, also poly check out Printer Financial on Polygon. It's actually still paying pretty decent too, you know. So, yep, that's it. Thanks. Blah, blah, blah.